Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to draw Facebook's angry emoji in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with, I've created a new document, 800 pixels wide, 800 pixels high, and we're going to select the ellipse tool, left click anywhere on the artboard, and give this circle a width of 600 pixels and a height of 600 pixels. And we'll position that approximately in the center. Remove the stroke and select the fill. Now we can double click on this swatch and we'll type in FFD972 as a six digit hex color. Click OK and that gives us the yellow for the emoji. So we can then click new swatch make sure we select the global box and click OK. So we've now got this swatch in our swatches palette if we want to use this at a later point. So we can also double click on the color picker and we're going to type in the six digit hex color for the red. So that's F25268. And again, we're going to click new swatch, select global, and then we have this color added to our swatches palette. And these two colors together are going to form the gradient that will make up the angry emoji. So if we select our yellow circle, go to the gradient palette and just click anywhere on the gradient slider and it gives you the default white to black. We can then drag the yellow, that's the yellow swatch on top of the white and let go. And we can drag the red on top of the black swatch and then where it says rotate gradient we have this option here that's the gradients angle type in 90 and you should get something that looks like this and you can adjust the sliders on the gradient slider just so there's a bit more yellow at the bottom and a bit more red at the top Next, what we're going to do is select the ellipse tool and left click and hold shift to draw a circle. So if we double click on the color picker and then type in 262C38, it's a slightly off black color used for the Facebook emojis. And we can position this here and just hold shift to scale that up proportionally. And then we can select the pen tool and just left click and draw a line on this sort of angle. Click again and just drag that out. And you can select the arrow tool and just swap the fill and the stroke. And then in the strokes palette, we can give this a thicker width. And we can also adjust the cap. So select the middle one, that's a round cap, just rounds off either end of the stroke. And we can actually make this a bit thicker. And then position the eye within that. And then just move this down into position. Okay, perfect. So he is looking pretty angry. Then we can select, holding shift, both of these shapes. Go up to edit, down to copy, and then edit, paste in place, and then just hold shift to drag that across. We can then go up to object, transform, reflect, and make sure you reflect along the vertical axes. Click OK, and there you go. Just position that on the right hand side. Make sure that the distance of the eyebrow is equal on either side. Next we're going to select the ellipse tool and just create our mouth. So something like this and then with the direct selection tool just select that top center anchor point and just use the arrow keys just to nudge it up a little bit. Uh, 
and then just adjust and fine tune the positioning. And I'm going to thicken these eyebrows up a little bit more, I think. And possibly increase the size of the eyes. So remember, whatever you do to one eye on one side, you have to do to the other. So it's usually best to make these changes at the same time. And then once you've finished drawing everything and you're happy with the positioning and the width of your strokes, you can then select these two strokes by holding shift, go to object, down to expand, leave fill and stroke selected and click OK. Then we can now select over everything, go to object and group. And now we've expanded those strokes as well. If we scale the shape down, everything stays proportionate. And there we go, that's how we draw the angry Facebook emoji in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.